everyone. For this class, we will be working on our core and our upper body. I will be using 2kg weights, which are my purple ones, and 3kg weights, which are my red ones. Starting off at the back of our mat, leg extended, you're going to reach your hands as far back as you can behind you, stretching out our shoulders. If you're not feeling as much satisfying stretch in the shoulders in this position, feel free to rock gently side to side with the upper body, just to encourage a little bit more of a stretch. And now coming forward, grabbing onto the underside of your knees, coming into a seated cat cow. So inhaling as you arch up, exhaling as you lean back. And now grabbing onto your left foot with your right hand, try to aim to straighten out your left leg as much as you can, while reaching behind you with your left arm coming into a seated spinal twist with the added benefit of a leg stretch. And feel free to keep your right leg bent. And now coming through, bringing your feet together, knees wide, coming into a butterfly position, we're going to be warming up and stretching through our inner thighs and our hips. And now coming back up, this time grabbing onto your right foot with your left hand, right hand reaches behind you and same concept with the leg, try to get your right leg as straight as you can and feel free to keep a bend in the left knee. Now dropping your foot, grabbing your heavier set of weights, bicep curl with leg extensions, 4-1 two, keeping his feet hovered, three, up into a V stance, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep those legs hovered, boxer punches, nice and slow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now plant your feet, engage your core even more, leaning back, chest press for one, two, three, four, five, six, keeping those feet planted is half the fun, eight, nine, keep breathing, just one more, and ten. And now setting your dumbbells aside, hands behind you parallel to your mat and pressing up with your hips to a flipped plank. So not only are we strengthening, we are also stretching out our shoulders. Feel free to tip your head back if you'd like, if that feels nice. And now setting your hips back down, laying down grabbing your weights, You're going to come into a star cross position with the boxer punch for one. Two, so opposite arm, opposite leg. Three, four, yes. five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now I'm reaching your toes up sky high, chest press with an upper ab crunch for one. Two, Three, try to make these movements individual, chest press first, then an ab crunch. So that way you're fully engaging the different muscle parts, not necessarily all together. And four, five, with every single one of these exercises, take your time, there is no rush. 
And now we're done with those. Coming into a bicycle, boxer punch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. So now we're laying all the way down, hands overhead, tricep extension, reaching all the way up and overhead, sitting up nice and straight with a forward fold. Rolling back, one tricep extension, straightening our arms out, using our core to sit on up, forward fold, and coming all the way back, and that is two. So every time we forward fold, that is our rep count. Sitting on up, forward fold, slowly vertebra by vertebra lay back, tricep extension, using your core to sit yourself up, forward fold. It's not so important how much you're folding over, just as long as you're feeling an additional stretch in the legs once you have folded over. So taking every part of this exercise nice and slow and try to keep a lot of these movements rather isolated from each other so that way we're really making sure that we work our appropriate muscle groups and not meshing too many things together. And it is fine if you need to wiggle forward because Lord knows I was travelling backwards just a little bit. I noticed I was approaching my dresser just a bit too much. So keep going, keep breathing, for tricep extending sitting or not using our core, and forward folding. And now with that being said, we're going to come to the middle of our mat in hero pose, we're going to come into some shoulder presses. Should you just follow me for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and now coming to Arnold press, elbows almost together, widen up and lift up for one. Together, out, up, two. Together, out, up, three. So keep going with these, whichever weight you're using, and never be ashamed if you have to drop a weight. That's precisely why I have my two kilograms with me. But for the majority of the exercises, I am using my 3kg ones. And done with those. So now I'm just turning around a little bit so that you can see, coming into some tricep extensions for 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, now that you get the idea. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're surprisingly coming up to fifteen. So do what you can manage. Keep breathing, keep extending. Once you have reached fifteen, dropping one weight, grabbing your lower weight if that's what you have. Straight right arm, pressing through your left arm for two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. so good. Switching back to weights around the worlds. Up and overhead, back down to your hips for one, two, three, absolutely using that breath to lift up, four, five, Inhaling coming up, exhaling to relieve, and make sure that all these movements are nice and slow and controlled. So good, now dropping your weight again with one arm. 
single arm pressing the other side. Yes, I got confused. Left arm press, right arm straightens for one, two, three, four, five, six. Try not to let that left arm drop. Eight, nine, ten. So good. Reverting back to your weight and bicep curl with the pulse at the top for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now coming into a tabletop, sinking your hips low. Right side single shoulder row for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straightening out your right arm, option to lift up your left leg for core stability and balance. One, two, arm pulses, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So good. Now sinking your way back to a child's pose. We are mid float break. So arms ahead of you, flip palms if you like, and or to really relieve the tension for right now, bring your arms by your side because we will be coming into some push ups. So let's just give our arms a good opportunity to completely relax. No more tension in the arms for right now. Okay, when you are ready, crawl your hands forward, lowering your hips, coming into 10 push ups at your own pace. Four, one, two, whichever push ups you like, three, and whatever your push ups look and feel like to you. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now grabbing your left side dumbbell, coming into the left side rows. So when you're ready, grabbing that dumbbell and rolling it out for one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now straightening your left arm, option to lift out your right leg, bird dog pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Amazing job. And now shifting all the way back, grabbing on your heavier dumbbells. Going to come into some cocoon extensions with an around the worlds. Four, one, two. When your dumbbells are ahead of you, up above your head, your legs are extended. Four, four, five, six. Exhaling, and extending, inhaling, bringing everything back in. We're coming up to fifteen of these. So moving at your own pace, breathing at your own pace. And you can absolutely do this exercise without the dumbbells, of course. But the weights just add a little bit more resistance and a lot more interest. So as your legs extend, try to keep those feet hovered. But of course, if you need to plant your feet, that is completely fine. Just make sure that core stays engaged ribs to hips and now grabbing a much lighter dumbbell if that's what you have laying on your right side left arm up and overhead rotate the dumbbell so the dumbbell lays on your leg waist crunch lifting everything up returning the dumbbell above your head rotating back to your hip crunch to your waist as you lift up your legs and upper body and go again with an arm motion followed by a side waist crunch motion so we're coming up to 10 of these. Definitely take your time with these, especially the arm movements. If it gets too much for your shoulder, you can actually bend at the elbow a little bit, because I started to do that as well. 
The goal is to move with absolute precision and control, mostly control, when doing this movement, especially with the arm. You really want to feel that engagement in your waist. And you know you're getting a good lift when your right arm also lifts up. So we are working shoulder, we are working lat, and we are working waist. And now we're rotating all the way over and we're going to repeat exactly that but on the other side. So laying on your left, bringing your right arm up and overhead with the weight, rotating in the wrist so that your dumbbell touches your hip and crunching through the waist. Bring it back overhead then over to your hip and crunch it up. Another 10 of these at your own pace. Inhaling as the dumbbell comes up and overhead Exhaling as you bring it over and then crunch through your waist. Once you have finished your 10, coming back through to center, grabbing your heavier dumbbell, placing it between your ankles and letting it fall over so that when you lift your legs up, it automatically adjusts, lower leg drop, upper ab crunch, lift up your legs, lower your legs, upper ab crunch, lift, lower, upper ab crunch, and try to keep these two movements isolated so that once again you feel an engagement in your lower abs, and then when you crunch your upper body, you feel it in your upper abs. You can absolutely ditch the dumbbell if it gets way too much way too soon. But of course it definitely adds that extra kicker challenge right where we really need it. And yes my dumbbell got a bit tricky. So lifting up, lowering, upper ab crunch. Lifting up, crunching and releasing. That is our 10th one. Kick that dumbbell to the side and completely relax. Flop on out to your Shavasana, your corpse pose. It's going to take some nice deep breaths to get our heart rate to come back down, to get our breathing more neutral. Feel free to add any arm movement that you like to relieve the tension in your arms from all the weights we were lifting. Of course if you prefer to stretch out your arms well after this class is finished per your own stretching routine, that is fine too, especially since you will just want to lay down and lay still. And I will see you on the other side. And now from here, slowly but surely start to wiggle fingers and toes. Start to restore a little bit more movement in your body. When you're ready, now rolling over to a fetal position. Moving any dumbbells aside that you need to. Then adjusting yourself to the middle of your mat in a easy seated pose if you'd like. And then when you are ready, bringing your elbows to your knees, hands to an LA mudra if you like, thumb and index together but fingers spread, 
taking some nice deep easy breaths rising your arms up above head bringing all that energy above you down to your heart chakra bowing it out with yourself and thanking yourself for pushing through this superset related flow working both your upper body and arms as well as your abs and core thank you all so much for watching and or flowing i do appreciate it either way and i shall see you all for the rest of my videos namaste <laughs>